All right, fam. What is happening here? You guys got some good stuff coming in. Okay. The star. New, uh, new direction. New aspiration. Okay. And then the three of cups. Why do we got the three cups? Because of the ace of wands. All right. So I think you guys have definitely reconnected with someone from the past. Someone from that you know. All right. And I think you guys are really trying to head take this relationship to you know a new direction right um yeah like you guys are feeling like you guys are starting over starting fresh um and really kind of enjoying the connection really and trying to see where everything will go how things will turn out not bad not bad um so the star new hope new dreams right this is a really exciting energy. And it also talks about healing as well. Some of you guys may be trying to heal from the past. Some of you guys are trying to be open to the future. Like, there's a lot of things with the star that I see that are, like, opening doors for you guys. But I really see that you guys see this star or see this relationship as something that has great potential for happiness. It's just going to require some work, right? It's going to take time to really work on it. And giving of yourself is the first step to make sure this happens. Now, the star is also healing energy. So, whatever past, you know, you know, things that, you know, whatever happened in the past here with you and this person, I feel like with growth, with time, with really focusing on what you both want out of the relationship, they can, you know, healing will be, you know, one of those things that kind of come with the job, you know what I mean? Come with the work. So I feel like with the star, there's a lot of new opportunities, not lots of new ideas. Um, feeling really inspired to go and try again. I feel like really this starting fresh, starting new with this person is really big. Um... Now, with the past, you have the Ten of Cups, like excellent energy for the past, mainly because this is talking about how you feel with this person. I feel like you guys are very happy with this individual. This person really brings out something in you. I kind of get this vibe that with this energy here that the Ten of Cups is someone that you're very happy to reconnect with, someone that you're really happy about you know, f you know, expressing your emotions with and just kind of being, it's great. Um, and even in the present, you guys have the fool. So even though you guys have either completed an emotional cycle, right? Like you guys have just maybe confessed your love to each other, you know, let your emotions kind of be known in this moment. Or, you know, you're just, just you know, enjoying yourself with this individual. I kind of get the vibe that you're starting fresh, starting new. You're starting fresh, like I said, you're starting over the star, and then the fool coming up on that's literally taking a leap of faith and starting over. Um, and I kind of get this vibe that you know it's kind of risky and you kind of feel it, but it's worth the risks. I think you guys are like feeling like the situation is worth the risk. You're on alert though, no doubt with the king of swords. You're on alert. You're not necessarily one hundred percent trusting of the situation. But you trust enough to, to, you trust yourself. That's the biggest thing. You trust yourself. You may not trust the other person, but you trust yourself. You're on guard, but you're open to change. You're open to taking and seeing how, taking and seeing this opportunity through and, um, yeah, experiencing it fully. So, what does your future hold? Your future holds the Six of Swords. Now, this talks about moving on or leaving something behind to, um, um, to, put yourself in a position to be available for new opportunities um so some of you guys may be taking a leap of faith or maybe you guys are presented with something that requires you guys to have faith in your in a situation and you do end up going in a direction where there is a lot to um there's a lot of possibilities to consider but it of course leaves behind the cover zone i think you guys are kind of done with the cover zones right this doesn't scare you. Like, nothing is really scaring you. I feel like you're taking a leap of faith. If you guys are not on guard, this is someone that is. Someone that's very serious. The King of Swords. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that's dealing, that you're dealing with. I feel like you guys are maybe taking a chance with the King of Swords. Someone that's very clear with their communication. Who doesn't play games or beat around the bush. I kind of get this vibe that you guys are really, you know, feeling like it's worth taking a risk with. Because this, this, per this person has been through enough to be able to communicate what their issues are what they need from you um and i kind of get this vibe that too this person is very stable so this in, the, in a way 
this kind of gives you a little bit more incentive to go ahead and take a chance because this person seems very structured, very solid in who they are. And if that's not you, then it's definitely the other person because obviously with that fool coming in, right, taking a leap of faith is really big. And not like this, that I say, the fool is not necessarily a fool. He's very naive. He's very... um like I said, open. He doesn't reject ideas. He doesn't reject things. But he also he but but he, I mean, he doesn't reject things. But he also he he's open to to the experience. So open to growth. So I kind of get this feeling that for a lot of you guys, you guys are really opening to growth here. But I see the fool. Like you guys are really open to growth. And the King of Swords, like you guys have been through a lot, but you've also under you also know your truth. You know where you stand, you know where someone else ends and where you meet. You know what you're gonna tolerate and what you're not gonna tolerate. And I think that's the biggest thing. That's I think that's why it gives you even more incentive to be like, Yeah, okay, well I'm I'm open to changing, I'm open to experiencing because you know where you stand, you know who you are. So that ace of swords in your best path to follow is really just pretty much reminding you, I feel like that you already have the sword in your hand. You already have that sword of truth. You already know that you can cut people. You make things happen if things go left field, right? Because you're not going to take that. You know who you you know who you are. You know you know what you are willing to take and what you're not willing to take. So I kind of get this vibe that even though this is a new beginning for you guys, you're not coming for the out of this. You're not coming into the situation without any clue what the heck's to what the heck's going on, right? I feel like maybe some of you guys maybe change your boundaries and things like that, but otherwise. I really feel like you guys know your truth, know where you stand, and that gives you even more comfort in, in, um, in taking chances and taking leaps of faith and, you know, putting yourself out there. Because I feel like you guys definitely want success in regards to, you know, putting yourself in a position where you are seen by others, where, you know, where other people notice you. Um, and I feel like some of you guys, you may be, it may not be someone from the past, maybe it may not be reconnection, but it may be that you guys are, you know, considering the dating scene again, putting yourself in a situation where you guys may interact with more people. You know what I mean? Because I feel like whatever this Ten of Cups was, this ending here may have been an ending of a relationship. It could be that you guys have, you know, you know, you know, found um, a home within the self as well. I kind of get this vibe that you guys are just feeling good. Um, or, or just emotionally done with how some situation and I don't see the Ten of Cups as an emotionally done card But I kind of feel like you guys already wrapped something up something completed itself in the and you're ready to move on from that, you know Something some cycles ended and you're not necessarily just looking to stick to it or stick in the energy You're ready for change ready to try something new and you guys are putting yourself out there And I feel like that's what the star is all about. That's why there's a lot of um, healing energy that's coming with that and the six of swords you're taking chances you're going out of your with your way to you know try new things and it may be a little scary but you guys are also ready for anything so it's not like you guys you guys are not fear ridden at all i don't see any sort of fear at all i feel like the six of swords six of wands really in your hopes and fears right here it's really just you guys wanting to be you know happy right to enjoy yourself to be proud of the effort that you put in, right? You guys really want to put yourself out there and stuff. And I feel like some of you guys really want to get recognized or really want to be seen by somebody that matters, right? Someone that, you know, that is confident. You know, I think you may want to interact with someone that's very confident. Um, I think that you guys want this confidence to show and to, you know, bring attention to you. Some of you guys, um, I feel like you guys either want to be more confident, but I don't feel like you guys aren't confident right now. I kind of just really feel like with the six of wands that you guys just want success in the dating world or, you know, just to be happy with, you know, with who you are and to, and to just feel like, you know, you're heading in a direction that does, you know, move in a really wonderful direction. I feel like you really want to be successful in your love life. So the king of cups is coming up in your external energy and what, and what it looks like is like the fool's journey begins because something you know something was not necessarily laid to rest but was accepted and you know put to a or put under a certain status that allowed you to move on so yeah i feel like the king of cups may not necessarily just be you i feel like there may be someone else around you 
or somebody that you know that you inch you you encounter because you're so confident because you're so open because you're open to receiving things like you putting yourself out there may bring somebody in which is the king of cups here now two some of y'all may be you know figure you know may be aware of what your dream person is right you may be like okay i put myself out there i'm confident i've done all this i've done all that i've been through a lot of stuff i have an idea of who my person is so some of you guys may end up being the person that you wanted in a relationship to attract that very person so the king of cups i feel like is someone that is your ideal partner your ideal person is someone that you definitely feel like is your person right and i kind of feel like you guys end up feeling feeling full of love yourselves but i kind of get this vibe that you guys are taking a leap of faith with somebody that's you know libra gemini aquarius and it could be even be like a cancer Scott, pisces scorpio it doesn't have to be any of those signs but i kind of get this feeling that this person is very serious but they're also very loving and they're very sweet and they're very protective of their emotions they're very um they can be seen as a bit tough exterior but they are very deep and soft on the inside. And I feel like you take that chance to get to know them, to really work with them, and you really figure out who they are underneath the surface, right? Underneath this, um, you know, tough exterior, I feel like you see this really soft, sweet, gentle, na you know, natured person that's become this way due to certain circumstances. And I think this is the same way for you. You may be, you may have a tough exterior right now because, of course, you're taking a leap of faith, right? You, you're putting yourself out there. You're, you're not necessarily covered by anything, so you got to protect yourself. But then I feel like you start to get more comfortable. You have more fun. You become, you know, you're aware of your truth. You start living by this truth, the Ace of Swords. And, you know, you start to soften up, start to, you know, come up, you know, be comfortable with having, you know, with dreaming, with, uh, with the idea of, being in a relationship or being you know connected with somebody you know so it can play both ways um, i kind of can't really tell i feel like this is kind of the matter of, i feel like it's both i feel like you're going to be you know someone that softens up over time and you're going to meet someone that you may you know that you may meet that may be tough on the outside but they all soften out and um and they soften eventually right so let's go ahead and see what you guys have from the Whispers of Love. What a clear reading this time, guys. Very open, very positive. I love it. Very, very, very strong and positive message this time around, y'all. All right. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Wow. So the Ace of Swords also talks about speaking your truth too. You know what your truth is. You know who you are. Being authentic and going based off of what is real and what's true for you. So I kind of get this feeling that, you know, taking the leap of faith, maybe the expressing your truth to the King of Swords, someone that's very, um, that's not very open to different ideas or anything either anyway. And, you you know, of course, your truth still matters to you because it's your truth. It doesn't matter. So, surrender to creativity and the surrender to silence. It's a very weird combination there because those two, in my opinion, are very contradictory. You can't be silent but also be creative. Maybe you can but I feel like to be silent is to not to express. But creativity is an expression. So how do you do both? So let's read them. First, the first card actually that came out, I feel like, was the surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. They open to all creative ideas and, um, about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. Okay, and then we have the Surrender to Silence card. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and, and, and enter stillness within, within. Quietness can heal and replenish you. So I kind of get this feeling that for some of you guys, some of you guys are either meant to express yourself, some of you guys are meant to, yeah, let me just, refocus this 
There we go. Some of you guys, I feel like it's really weird because I kind of get this vibe that you're supposed to do both and somehow balance both. Like, for instance, like, there's a moment to be creative, there's a moment to be outspoken and be yourself, but then I also think there's also there's a moment where you may want to pay attention to people, and being paying attention to people requires you to kind of hold that energy a little bit in. So, not necessarily, hey, keep it close, keep it, keep it quiet, don't be loud, don't be obnoxious, don't be nothing. Not trying to say that, y'all, I'm saying that there's something here where you may want to take a look at something, be yourself, of course. Honesty is essential. You know, don't hide who you are. But in moments of dating and moments of putting yourself out there and the moments of understanding someone, you're going to probably want to reserve yourself a bit to get to know the person. You can't get to know the person if you're the, you know, the main focus. If you're the main focus, that which is probably why this card is coming up, maybe you guys don't want to be the main focus. Maybe some of you guys really want to be... You know, we really want to see what other people have to offer. Maybe you don't want to be like that person that, you know, that's the center of attention. And I feel like you guys really want to get to know the people instead of being the main focus, which is understandable, which is why, you know, surrender to, surrender to silence may be coming up. Right, be right now, the focus is to be that person that's open and expressive and willing to give of yourself to make something work. You know, in the sense of like expressing yourself, showing your truth and all that. 